Hey, you guys. I am here with my favorite title guy, Mr. Scott Chatwin with U.S. First Title. And we wanted to talk to you guys about something very important today. Uh, that is wire fraud. It's happening in our industry. It's happening here in Utah. And basically what's happening is there are people that are watching your email that when it's time for you to close and you're going to wire money to the title company, they're posing themselves as the title company and having you wire that money to them instead. And once it's wired, it's gone. It's gone. You will not get it back. So Scott recently had this happen to one of his clients. Um, luckily, they saved it. But um, why don't you just tell them real quick the story that happened? Sure. Yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a client who received an email. That email looked like it was from me. And um, it occurred right after the closing disclosure had gone out. Um, that's the document that shows basically what they need to bring into closing and all of the figures that are uh, on it, the charges. And so someone had been watching the buyer's email and when that closing disclosure went out, they had the exact amount that they needed to wire. And um, so they just said, hey, I'm Scott with the uh, title company and I want you to wire this amount to me please reach out to us and we'll send you wire instructions. Um, fortunately, um, we had already uh, been in communication, so they had a known number. They sent me a text uh, with a picture of that email, um, and it was easy. I just told them not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. Um, and, and really, I mean, it's not small money that people are wiring. This was In this case, it was $11,000, but... Um, you hear about it a lot where people are losing everything that they've, they've got. Yeah, so just to be clear, his email was not hacked. It was the buyer's Gmail. Someone was accessing their email. And so as soon as they saw the closing instructions with how much the amount was, they then tried to duplicate Scott's email make a similar email as his. They did, they even took the signature on the bottom of the they email. They copied it. It was a little bit different. Yeah, they copied the bottom signature so that it had his picture, it had everything that it looked like it was coming from him, but in reality it was it was probably someone out of this country that was that was doing that. So, uh, Scott, what can people do to make sure to verify so that this does not happen to anybody? So, um, the first thing that you can do is get instructions right from the title company um, basically um, work through your real estate agent because they're they're gonna have them um, or be able to get them um, but basically go to a trusted source um, the other thing uh, to keep in mind and this is really important a title company is not going to change their wired instructions and we see that a lot too where someone will receive an email and say actually instead of sending the wire here, send it to me, and they've lost money that way as well. Yeah, so always verify. You can call the title company directly. Obviously, don't email them back per se because you could be emailing back the fraud person that you thought was their email. So you can call verification. And really, the, the routing number, the account number for the title company is always going to be the same. So even if you talk to me as your agent and said, hey, this is the information that they sent, I can verify it with past stuff as well so that you have two sources of verification. So thank you very much. Appreciate you coming on and no with our Facebook Live people. Hopefully that was informational for you guys as well. Don't take chances with this stuff. Always good to verify. And it's only getting more and more and more common. So uh, let Scott or me know if you guys need any help. Thanks. Um.